Los Angeles, ciao a tutti! Pro Wrestling League Season 3 me ever such an off waqt hai mahilaon ki 76 yani ke 76 kg varg kushti ka Devi aur Sajno UP Dangal ki or se aa rahi hain Hungry Mool ki Senet Mehmet Patanjali Chavan Prash Pro Wrestling League Season 3 में NCR Punjab Royals की ओर से आ रही है Kumbha Larook Right, we come in for belt number six with uh, the heaviest women's category in this competition. And for the Punjab Royals, sorry, for UP Dungal, it's uh, Janet Nemet from Hungary. And for the Punjab Royals, it's Kumba Larok, 19-year-old, very promising in her first senior season. She's been competing on the junior and under-23 circuit. So, much more experience from uh, Jeanette Zemet in the red. But uh, Kumba Larocque, one of the new kids on the block. Okay. All very polite and uh, gentle at the start, but don't expect it to stay that way. Punjab, of course, have got to win this. Yes, John and Kumba realizing the gravity of the situation will all out in attack. Two young promising European girls and Kumba Larok from the 2017 World Championship bronze medal. So she's obviously very, very highly rated, highly skilled, broken into the senior ranks. She's a precocious teenager, full of agility, probably slight edge in strength over her Hungarian girl, Janet, op op opponent, who's a crafty customer. And for 56 kilograms, John, uh, heaviest weight in the women, these both these women, are, uh, the young girls, are very agile. There's a lot of action in the center of the ring, using strength, using agility, uh, clasping each other with the elbows, and the referee over here, Ashok, uh, Ashok Kumar, uh, telling them to not to be so defensive. One minute over. And I think, John, what it is, Kumba knows that the team score means it's now or never. If they have to come back, a Punjab Royals. She has to be more aggressive. Yep, a big responsibility on her young shoulders, and uh, she certainly looks up for it. The uh, difficulty here is that you get so wound up on it you're so committed to attack that you leave yourself vulnerable and certainly uh, Jeanette Nemet has the skills to take full advantage she's got a, a gold in the European Championships and uh, a first point I think that is for passivity yep um, goes to Kumba Larock. Yes, John, what I thought was uh, Janet felt that, you know, if she can hold off the non-stop aggression of Kumba, but the, the, you know, the judges and the match chairman, uh, Virinder Malik and Pavlina decided that it was too passive, and so it's, she's a point ahead, Kumba Larock. But at present, both still very defensive, as we are 2 minutes 30 seconds, just 30 seconds left for the end of the third round, two rounds of three minutes each. And now Kumba, the tie score is is there. It's a 3-2. Yeah, very, very wary couple of grapplers. 
they know that uh, this is the hugely important bout. Remember, Jeanette Nemet will actually know that she can seal it for her team. Very much a team game, this... Uh, The Pro Wrestling League up oh, now. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. And in fact, uh, couldn't couldn't hold on. But so far, they found it very, very difficult to make anything tell at all, Nobby. Yes, and John, it was very interesting yeah. to see uh, Vinish Hello. taking our captain's role very Stop. seriously. Stop. And she was the one who okay. sort of was, you know, okay. inspiring and rubbing the shoulders of Janet. Janet, who's got, we'll show you in the picture, she's got the tattoo of the five Olympic rings. And now Janet knows that she has to make a comeback because it'll seal a win for her team. That's what this pro wrestling league does wonderfully. It makes individuals take part in a team That's event, the, like the way where, what we learnt in our sports, rugby and football. You play as a team. Here they are also playing as a team, John. I think uh, Janet Nemet will have got those five rings done in Rio because she competed in the Olympics. Now, another attack from uh, Comba La Roque and she's round behind her opponent. She's got two points, desperately now trying to roll her. She can't do it. Back on her feet, but that, the first really telling attack, takes her opponent down, gets round behind her. There we go. Two points. Uh, yes, John, and you know, I mean, it was risky because Janet could have sort of overthrown her. The Janet was trying, but Kumba Larok, despite leading, she is the more aggressive of the two. And with one minute gone in the second round, Janet has just two minutes to make up. And is this going to make, uh, you know, take us to the final clincher, make the match score three all? It is much to the delight of Punjab Royals who were down 1-3 at one time. Absolutely, and to the crowd and uh, to us. It's great to see a close match and this one at the moment. Perhaps a touch unexpectedly going the way of the Punjab Royals. But still plenty of time for Janet and Ahmed to uh, turn the tables. Midway through the round now, a minute and a half to go. And another point, in fact, uh, four. For Kumba La Roque, uh, because of passivity again from Janet Nemet. It's the confirmation on the scoreboard that I think she's well on her way to victory now. Kumba La Roque. She's not, I, we have to praise her for her defensive work, John. She's not let Janet Namet make one serious attack. No, she certainly hasn't. And uh, now she can afford to go on the defensive and not commit herself to anything more. Because even if she did um, get warned for passivity, it would only be a one-pointer and she'd still be well in control. So she doesn't want to go for anything big and risky. We're coming to the final 30 seconds. So this is the sixth right, bout right. of the day and the first one in which the opponent won't get a single point at all. The Hungarian girl, also very highly rated, uh, European Championship silver medalist, getting outclassed by this excellent, explosive French girl, muscular, agile and grease lightning, despite being 76 kilograms. We are in the last eight seconds. I think it's all over by the shouting. Kumba Selene Fanta Larocque is the winner. There she is. I was very impressed by her performance. This French girl, 19 year old, one for the future. Could be a potential Olympic gold medalist at 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Yeah, remember the name, Kumba Larocque.